Hi, I'm Josefina Estrada, welcoming you to another edition of Boiler Bites. In recent years, Purdue's athletic department has been focused on improving and upgrading all of the university's athletic facilities. Two years ago, the first pitch was thrown out at the new baseball stadium, Alexander Field. This past March saw the opening of a new softball stadium. You know, if you're a collegiate baseball fan or just a baseball or softball fan, uh, can't imagine a better place to, to watch a game. When you drive up to it, you know, with the, with the brick facade and, and everything, it, it's, it's got the wow factor. Purdue did a phenomenal job building the stadium. With our field now, people will be excited to come play here. It's just exciting to be able to call it home. Our excitement is just so above and beyond. Look at what we get to play on. Well, the old baseball field was uh, Lambert, and I actually, I really, really enjoyed it. Lambert Field, I mean, it is near and dear to our heart because it was a great playing surface. It just didn't have a lot of the amenities, you know, for fans uh, and the players, you know, we didn't have a locker room. Obviously, some of the things that were lacking were stadium feel. It was kind of just uh, some bleachers and then a lot of fans standing along the side. My freshman year, we actually packed it. Uh, pretty much every game, uh, we set like a new attendance record. The last season uh, to be played at Lambert Field, you know, wound up being the, the season that we won the Big Ten Championship, which was the first time for Purdue since 1909. Lambert Field in its day was very nice, but it, it, it was outdated, certainly. Well, we got approval in May of 2010, uh, so shortly thereafter, uh, we broke ground on that. Uh, uh, moved into it in the fall of 2012, played our first game there in the spring of 2013, so currently in year three. The new stadium is a little bit more off campus than the old stadium. It's a beautiful area out there with kind of four facilities out there plus the cross country course, so it's kind of become a, a second hub of Purdue Athletics. Alexander Field is uh, the name of our new stadium, and Dave Alexander was the former coach here at Purdue. And it's got an awe factor, I, I think, with the concourse and, and the brick press box. It's big, and so it does have a little bit of awe factor, I think, when you walk in. And I mean, we're really just humbled by being able to play in that stadium. Really one of the best playing surfaces that I've ever been you know, involved with. It's a sand-based field, so um, it plays you know, very smooth. The locker room is awesome. Um, everything there was state-of-the-art. Um, you know, they got a huge TV in there for us, a couple couches, chairs. We have the media training facility that has uh, hitting cages and indoor mounds, you know, for our players to work out, you know, right there on site. The dugouts are much bigger than Lambert. Lambert's dugouts were uh, probably the smallest in the Big Ten. That's had a huge impact in recruiting. The fact that you have a nice stadium, I think, shows that you know your your school is supportive of your, of your sport, um, and there is an investment in, in your in your program. We didn't set out to have the biggest. Uh, we wanted to be Purdue contemporary. That's kind of the term we use throughout. I think you'd be hard pressed to find a, a better facility, certainly in the Midwest, for collegiate baseball. In comparing it to the Big Ten, we were we were needing a new field and a new complex. There were no bathrooms, concession stands, locker rooms, that type of stuff. It didn't have the atmosphere though, the stands or the stadium or the locker room. The softball press box was down the third base line. You know, you'd have to look out two windows to, to see if a ball hit the left field was, was fair or foul. It was time and thankfully the right people here at Purdue were able to get the funds and get the permission to build this beautiful new stadium. We got approval on, on softball in uh, April of 2013. Uh, broke ground soon after, and uh, by this past March we'd moved in. The new stadium is out by the baseball and soccer fields. We're all one little cluster out there together, and it, it's beautiful. It's going to be the nicest field we play at, and we play at a lot of nice fields, big stadiums. We're all very, very excited for the locker rooms, obviously. <laughs> Before, we'd have to go to practice and drive to our locker room, and so it's going to be really nice and convenient to have the locker room right next to the field. And then that indoor hitting facility, that's a huge bonus for us here at Purdue. They haven't had that before. Uh, to have that right next to your field is wonderful. This stadium has a punctuation mark. We can take it to the next level, and that's helping us with recruiting. You see a beautiful campus, great academic school, great athletic program, and a beautiful stadium. It really seems like the whole package. Like baseball, I think you'd be hard-pressed to find any 
at a collegiate softball stadium in this region, perhaps even in the country that's, uh, that's any finer. The fans love it. I mean, certainly it's a, a great place to watch a game. You've got great concession stands. If you're a suite holder, you've got the suites. You know, all the amenities you would want from a fan standpoint. Uh, I think people have felt we, uh, pardon the expression, hit a home run with both of them. Congratulations to pitching ace Lily Fecho, who broke the single season strikeout record this past season. And to former Boilermaker catcher Kevin Plowecki, a member of the 2012 Big Ten Championship team, who made his major league debut with the New York Mets this past April. For more information about Purdue's baseball and softball teams, please visit the web address below.